when we're solving for x, if I got x squared equals 1.44, to get rid of a square, we use a square root. The square root of x squared is going to be x. The square root of 1.44, you can calculate to be 1.2. But we were the ones that introduced the square root, so we have to worry about the plus or minus. For 16x squared plus 25, we have to get the x squared alone first. So we'll subtract 25. and then divide by 16 before taking the square root. And when we take the square root, this will still be x, and on the right side, the square root of negative 25 is 5i, and the square root of 16 is 4. But the directions here say to solve for x, but only for the real solutions. And because we're trying to take the square root of a negative number, this one will have no real solutions. Now if we have 16x squared minus 25, the first thing we're going to do is get that x squared alone, so add 25 to both sides. And divide by 16. Now that we have that x squared alone, we're going to take the square root of both sides. Since we put the square root in, it's going to be plus or minus. And then just take the square root of 25, which is 5, and the square root of 16, which is 4. With x cubed minus 8, get the cubed alone. And to get rid of a third power, we're going to need a third root. So x will equal... We introduced a root, but it wasn't a square root or any other even root. Because it's an odd root, the cubed root, there is no plus or minus that we have to worry about. So the cubed root of 8 is just 2. If we're going to try and solve an equation involving a, that has a square root already in it, we'll have to get that root alone. So first, add 4 to both sides. Square root of x is equal to 7. Now, to get rid of a square root, we're going to square. And x will equal 49. We didn't put a square root in here in this problem at all, so we don't have to worry about any sort of plus or minuses. We did some squaring, and that was it. For the next problem, again, get the square root alone. So add 1 to both sides. Once you have that square root alone, square. x plus 2 is equal to 4. Now we can solve that by subtracting 2 and x is equal to 2. In part g we have a cubed root but still the principle is the same. Get the cubed root alone by adding 5 then to get rid of a third root take it to the third power. x is equal to 64. In problem h I told everybody not to do it because uh, I hadn't taught them this problem yet and it's a little bit more complicated than it, than it looks. So if you're looking at problem H, you can cross it out. That one's not going to be on the test, and they don't know how, need to know how to do it right now.